G'day mate, Forty here. So I'm listening to a Vanity Fair article on Ivana Trump. It just kind of reminds me of the traditional notion of the poorer self as opposed to the buffered self. So buffered self says, you know, we're all individuals, we have inalienable rights, you know, we can do anything we want. And uh, the poorer selves says that what's going on around us is going to have a profound effect on us. That you can't draw this sharp distinction between ourselves and other people. Right? We're still vulnerable. So here's this Vanity Fair article. ...pouring out in the New York atelier of her longtime fashion designer, Mark Bauer, to whom she had come for a fitting on January 11, 2017, nine days before Trump's inauguration. Always with Havana, it was fun. Fun fittings and champagne and parties, says Bauer. But this time, he noticed something as soon as she stepped off the elevator. The Manolo Blahnik looked slightly scuffed, the toes dented a bit, and not nearly as immaculate as they always had been. Ivana ordered a half-dozen tight-fitting, body-hugging, jewel-toned dresses. Then they retired to a couch, the designer and his business partner, Paul Margolin, sitting on either side of Ivana. So how's everything going? They asked. Do you need a dress for the inauguration? She said, I don't know if I'm going to go, remembers Bauer. Then she started sobbing, uncontrollably, tears pouring down her face. We both cradled her in our arms, saying, everything's going to be okay. Her words came out in a torrent. They hate me. They all hate me. Bauer remembers Ivana wailing. Everywhere I go, they say things and they shout things at me. Outside my house in Saint-Tropez, Palm Beach, everywhere. They hate me. Through her sobs, she added, It's not my fault. I am not him. I divorced him a long time ago. I do not deserve this. Okay, so she's she's no longer <laughs> married to Donald Trump. But of course, she's still affected by him. Right? So we're porous, like uh, the people that we're connected to are always going to affect us. And what's going on with them is uh, very likely to have an effect on us. So we don't get to draw this dramatic distinction between ourselves and others. And like the liberal notion is that we have this, you know, buffered, autonomous, strategic, rational self. So this is the uh, Manly Lagoon. That's Manly Beach. And here's the Manly Lagoon. Right, Ivana Trump wanted to get rid of her connection to the Donald, but even four marriages later. The designer was taken aback. I had to fight back tears myself, he says, because here was this woman I greatly respected and loved, totally broken down. But wait, Ivana wouldn't want you to see her like this, gone from a size 8 to a 14. Right, so, one more argument for the porous self, right? So part of the porous self is that a fetus isn't just a fetus, it's on a journey to becoming a full human being.